Hello my friends, so in this video I was hoping to reply to some of the comments that were left on my previous video. So this is Procreate Dreams 2, the beta version. It has not been released to the public yet, so this is an early preview. So first and foremost, the flipbook is much improved. And the thing that I like the most about it, honestly, is just the ability to scroll through and check my animations like this. I think this is gonna have a big impact on my workflow. We also see the ability to add multiple tracks to our flipbook, which I think is gonna help a lot in structuring our animations from the ground up. They've also fixed the color drop issue, so now when you drop in the color, there's none of that white border. And in general, we have proper threshold controls. The thing that I wasn't expecting was the massive upgrade to the brushes. So there's 18 new brush packs, and I think there's around 180 brushes, and they're pretty awesome to use. They have a great feel. Okay, but let's go through the laundry list of things that I feel are still missing. So there's no shape tool, so we don't have circles, we don't have straight lines. We do have the ability to move our shapes around like promised, and we can even warp, which comes pretty close to some of the things I like about liquify, but no liquify. And then we do have the selection tool, which I think is gonna be helpful in a lot of cases, but no automatic selection tool. We did get the ability to get the copy and paste menu, which I use a lot. The layer functionality has also been improved. So we don't have alpha lock, but we do have clipping mask. We can also combine layers. But another thing I noticed that we're missing is reference. I'm not really sure how anybody does more advanced coloring without it. I know you can duplicate your layer. That was um, a comment that was left, um, but it just seems strange to leave out reference. And I do like that we have brush memory, so I can set a marker now, which I find really helpful. I also generally just like this drawing space. It's exactly like Procreate and it feels familiar to me. I also feel like the organization in general is much better. So here we have the plus sign and it's the same stuff. It's just reorganized a different way. This is the group button. And then these are all the settings. And I think the stage especially makes a lot of sense. Here we have our background color instead of being kind of hidden in the time code. And as promised, we do have animated GIF as an option. Another feature that I like is that you can proportion your screen as you need. And then each track has the ability to adjust the opacity, which I think is great. So initially I was kind of worried about how my old projects would interact with the new system, but they've clearly put a lot of work into making it seamless. And then you can kind of see the new system take over when you try and convert things to flipbook. There's kind of a process that happens as it's re-rigging it. The other thing that I noticed is that when I go to keyframes, I no longer have lens blur as an option. But one user mentioned that it could be because I have an older iPad. This is an old iPad Pro second generation from 2020. So it definitely doesn't have the M M1 chip. So um, you may have that option available. Okay, great. So that covers what I wanted to share with you. Let me know in the comments if you have specific questions and I'll dive in and try and answer them. And if you know any young artists that are looking for fun and creative projects, share their channel with me because I'll be posting lots of Procreate Dreams 2 projects that they can dive into. Adios.